This right here is a Backcountry XRS 850 146 with a two inch lug. And yes, it is in the G5 chassis for 2024. And this snowmobile is by Skidoo's own definition as capable as a 2016 Summit. And while this snowmobile may be as good as a 2016 Summit off-trail, the truth is on-trail, it's incredibly good as well. And to me, backcountry has always been about the best of off and on-trail. This is a true 50-50 snowmobile, and when you put C-Motion X out back, you get a ride like no other crossover. Out back on the C-Motion X, the rear arm and rear shock have both been lengthened around 13 millimeters. The front arm's been brought back into the chassis about 30 millimeters as well. And with this combination, you get greater suspension travel and a way better performing rear suspension that's better on trail, but also more effective in the deep snow. It's a total game changer for the backcountry G5. Now, when it comes to the front end suspension, this sled does feel laser guided on the trail, considering that it's a full blown crossover, like not, not a little crossover, this is 50-50. RESX is working very good up front. This is the narrowed up front end and the KYB Pro 36 shocks up front do their job very well. The new rack steering system can't be overlooked as it really does settle down the front end of the sled and it help gives that precise front end steering feel. The rack system is only found on the XRS models. Out back, we have two KYB Pro 40s. These are serious shocks and it's because it says XRS that you get those. Now, the next thing that I wanna to talk to you about is overall build quality and engine performance all put into one because to me, the build quality, the NVH, noise vibration and harshness, and the engine package, how it works together with P-Drive, really is almost one all-encompassing thing on a Skidoo. And it's a thing of beauty. You get on this snowmobile and there is no felt vibrations from idle all the way up into the mid-range where on many snowmobiles and on previous G4s, you did feel a lot of vibration. The whole quality of this sled, it just drips with it. I mean, I've said it before that Skidoo took sap and they made syrup, and I really think that that's what this is. It's all the things that were good, but maybe about 90% there, and they boiled them down, and they got everything to the best quality, the best fit and finish, the integration of technology, whether it comes to the 10.25 display and the illuminated hand controls that are just absolutely flawless, to all of the other little features that integrate into this snowmobile, Skidoo has done a really good job at refining. And that is what G5 in backcountry is. It's backcountry refined. Now on trail, this sled rocks corner to corner. I've already told you that. It works really good and the rear suspension rides great. Off trail, it's incredibly capable. Yes, I believe Skidoo's claim of it being as capable as the 2016 Summit. And with these nice mountain running boards that clear out so easily and the narrowed up front end, it will bounce through the trees and go through the powder like nobody's business. You can play off trail with this and don't expect that you're gonna get stuck. Now, when it comes to track options, you have quite a few. This snowmobile does come in 146 as well as 154 inch versions. In the 154, you can get a two inch or a 2.5. And in the 146, you can get a 1.6 inch Cobra, a 1.6 inch Ice Cobra, and a two inch Powder Max. Now I know what you're thinking. All I've said is good things about this snowmobile. And the reality is there are a lot of good things to say about this sled, but there's still a couple of things that I would like to see updated. And I imagine in the future, you're probably going to see. Number one, I love the fact that it has the adjustable brake lever on it and the new master cylinder, but what I don't love is the brake caliper down below. It needs the four piston caliper because brake feel is very, very vague. It's almost on off. It feels as though the cylinder is actually seized. I don't like that. I would prefer to see the four piston and I think probably next year you're going to, especially on XRS. Now the 850 motor in the Backcountry XRS, yes, I love it, it feels good, it's very competent and it delivers solid performance and amazing economy. But when it comes to XRS, I would really like to see the new turbo motor available. And again, for first year, it's only in the competition package, but I have a sneaking suspicion that when it comes to early order, you're probably going to be able to for 2025. So hold tight on that, nothing wrong with the 850, but I can always use a little more power, especially when it's off trail. But when it comes to the end of the day with this backcountry XRS, I am very impressed. Skidoo's boiled it down, and what they got here is one sweet ride. <laughs>